now is what photographers call the magic hour. I've just spotted another great shot. I'm gonna try and put together a series of stitched images. I'm hoping for a really exciting shot. That's exactly what we want. I've got two lights set up and we've got this lovely wooden line. The exposure range is just too great. Hi, I'm Carl Taylor and this week just a quick tip on lens cleaning. Now this is quite important, you want to keep your lenses in good condition, you want to make sure that they've got no fingerprints on them and dirt on them and often when I'm out shooting landscapes or seascapes you end up getting sea spray and all sorts of mess on them that you really need to keep clean and um, make sure they're looked after. Now um, you may well be familiar with actual lens cleaning cloths that you can buy from the uh, manufacturers, the branded ones. Now they're quite expensive. Um, I've got one here. They're microfiber lens cleaning cloths and they usually cost a considerable amount of money for a small amount of fabric. And one tip I've got for you is that you can get similar microfiber cloths that are often used in the car detailing industry. Um, and these are usually less expensive simply because they're not designed or not sold as being um, used for optical or lens cleaning. And this is still a microfiber cleaning cloth, um, but as I mentioned, it's a lot less expensive than the camera manufacturer brand ones. And usually they're a little bit bigger, so you get a bit more for your money as well which means you can either cut these in half and create uh, an extra cleaning cloth, but they work just as well, or I found they work just as well as the normal uh, branded lens cleaning cloths. Now, how do I clean my lenses? Really simple, I try to avoid using any fluids or optical cleaning fluid on my lens because your lenses have a very special multi-coating, uh, multi-coated surface to them, which is there to avoid, um, help the uh, lens reduce flare and problems, correct um, image aberrations, that sort of stuff. And you'll see that coating on your lens as this sort of reflective purple or green or sort of blue tint to the end of the lens. And you really don't want to damage that coating. You certainly don't want to damage the surface of the lens. And I think if you put the uh, liquids on, especially if you try to put liquid directly on the lens, you open yourself up to problems of maybe that liquid penetrating into the lens casing itself. So I avoid using any of those cleaning fluids on the lens or on the lens cloth. My favorite choice for cleaning a lens is simply to give it a blow down with uh, an air can and then I gently breathe on the lens, create a fine mist on the lens and then apply the microfiber cloth to wipe that away. And that usually gives a perfectly good surface afterwards, perfectly clean. And if it hasn't worked quite well enough, just repeat it. And also by breathing on the end of the lens, you can actually see where there might be problems or dirt or fingerprints because when you breathe on the lens, it often reveals any sort of problem dirt areas. And the same applies for the back of the lens. Check the back of the lens. Give it a blow with the dust first to remove any particles because you wouldn't want to run a cleaning cloth over the lens if you maybe had a tiny speck of sand or grit on there that could scratch it. So always good to give it a blow first with an air can and then gently breathe on the lens and just give it a wipe with that microfiber cloth to remove any residue or any problems. And that is simply it. You can give it another squirt with the air to finish it off and then job done. So that's my tip for cleaning lenses. Really simple, really easy, but look out for alternative microfiber cloths that might save you a bit of money. Right now is what photographers call the magic hour. I've just spotted another great shot. I'm gonna try and put together a series of stitched images. I'm hoping for a really exciting shot. That's exactly what we want. 
I've got two lights set up and we've got this lovely wooden line. The exposure range is just too great. 